Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 312 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz comes from Chandler, Arizona, where Sabrina and her father Richard have taken the time to do two 21 question random knowledge trivia quizzes. We've already played the first one. Today we're going to play the second one. The first one was really good. I have no doubt the second one will be just as good. Let's get started. Here's question number one. What fast food restaurant chain that was founded in 1948 by Glenn Bell had a talking chihuahua in their famous commercials that ran from the 1990s to the 2000s and was voiced by the stand-up comedian Carlos Alazraki? Founded by Glenn Bell. The name of that restaurant is Taco Bell. Question number two. In this 1992 Disney film, with sequels released in 1994 and 1996, Emilio Estevez played a reluctant coach to a struggling youth hockey team. What was that team's name that also became the name of the Walt Disney Company's professional hockey team in Anaheim, California? The answer is the Mighty Ducks. Question number three. During the Old West era in the United States, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were part of an outlaw gang who were most successful at robbing trains. What was the original name of that gang? The answer is the Hole in the Wall Gang. Question number four. Catherine Hullabird is the author of the children's book series Angelina Ballerina that was first published in 1983. Later, the character was featured in a British animated television series. What kind of animal is Angelina? Angelina Ballerina is a mouse. Question number five. The driest place on earth is known as the McMurdo Dry Valleys. It is estimated that rain has not fallen there for millions of years, and this low humidity area also can have winds that reach up to 100 miles per hour. On what continent are these dry valleys located? The answer is Antarctica. Question number six. In the United States, the Recording Industry Association of America has awarded gold records to artists based on the number of albums and the number of singles they have sold. Who was the first artist to receive a gold single, doing so in 1958? The first gold single went to Perry Como, and the first gold album was later that year for the musical Oklahoma. Question number seven. Before the non-toxic, non-staining, reusable modeling compound Play-Doh was reworked to become a toy for young children, it was concocted by Noah McVicker in the 1930s to clean what? What did they originally use Play-Doh to clean? They used that compound to clean wallpaper, specifically coal residue from the wallpaper. Question number eight, Sam Whiteley, who was a production designer for the 1999 movie The Matrix starring Keanu Reeves, used food recipes from his wife's cookbooks to make up the green falling codes in the film. What specific type of food was featured in these cookbooks? If 
if you look closely and you know what you're looking at, then you will know that the falling green code is sushi recipes. Sushi is the answer. Question number nine. Ruth Handler was inspired to create the Barbie doll after a trip to Europe in 1956 where she saw a German doll with adult features that was based on a popular character in a comic strip by Reinhard Buten. What was the name of this doll? The answer can be Lily or specifically Build Lily, but Lily is acceptable. Question number 10. In the 1940 animated feature film Fantasia, Mickey Mouse plays a young apprentice to a sorcerer and tries to perform some of the sorcerer's magic, but things get out of control. What does the sorcerer's name spell out when written backwards? In the movie, the sorcerer's name is Yen Sid, which spells out Disney if you spell it backwards. Question number 11. Howard Hughes Jr. was a record-setting pilot, film producer, businessman, engineer, and philanthropist. He suffered from obsessive compulsive disorder and chronic pain. Which Hollywood actor portrayed him in the 2004 movie The Aviator? The answer is Leonardo DiCaprio. Question number 12. Anthony Edwards and Meg Ryan, who played husband and wife in the 1986 movie Top Gun, sang what song on the piano at the Naval Base Bar that 36 years later their son Rooster sings in the 2022 sequel Top Gun Maverick? The answer is Great Balls of Fire. Question number 13. Domingo Samudio was an American rock and roll singer who had hit songs with Wooly Bully and Little Red Riding Hood. He is better known by his stage name, Sam the Sham. What was his backup group called that got their name after watching Yule Brenner's costumes in The Ten Commandments? If you remember that movie, Yul Brynner played a pharaoh. They were called the pharaohs. Question number 14. During the 19th century, what was the name of the mine in the Superstition Mountains of Arizona that German immigrant Jacob Waltz was rumored to have found, keeping its location a secret after emerging with a handful of gold? There's a specific name for that mine, very popular in folklore. They call it the Lost Dutchman's Gold Mine. Question number 15. An EGOT is an accomplishment achieved when a person has won an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony Award. As of 2023, 18 people have achieved this prestigious accomplishment. Who was the first person to have reached this goal, doing so in 1962? Of Rogers and Hammerstein fame, his name was Richard Rogers. Question number 16. The Voice is a singing competition that first aired in 2011 on NBC. The show usually consists of four coaches on a panel who are singers in the music industry. Which country superstar was the show's longest running coach until he left in 2023? The answer is Blake Shelton. Question number 17. 
On the PBS TV show Sesame Street, Big Bird likes to talk to his teddy bear, which was named after Gary Berghoff's character on another TV show. What was this character from the TV show MASH that the teddy bear is named after? That teddy bear was named Radar. Question number 18. Most Twinkies today have a vanilla cream in the middle, but when James Alexander Dewar invented the Twinkie in 1930, he used another flavor for the cream. What was this original flavor of the Twinkie that was changed due to fruit rationing during World War II? Twinkies were originally made with banana cream. Question number 19. Taron Egerton is an actor best known for playing Eggsy in the Kingsman movies and portraying the musician Elton John in Rocket Man. His first name was meant to be Taron with an A, but his mother misspelled it on his birth certificate and put Taron with an O instead. From what language is the name Taron with an A? The answer is Scottish. It, it comes from the Gaelic meaning thunder. And question 20. After Pearl Harbor, archivists sprung into defensive action on behalf of the nation's most cherished documents. The Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights had to be moved. Where were these very valuable documents moved to during World War II? The answer is Fort Knox. And that is it for today. Thank you, Sabrina and Richard, for sending in two great quizzes. Hopefully you're enjoying your road trip kit. And thank you to everyone in the audience for watching today's episode. As a lot of people who are submitting quizzes are finding out, it's not real easy to sit down and write two 25-question trivia quizzes. Um, a lot of the emails that I get with quizzes attached say, Ooh, this is kind of a lot of work. So everybody who has submitted these quizzes for the Quizlet Challenge, I want you to know that I appreciate you. And even if people don't realize how much they appreciate you, everybody in the audience appreciates you as well. Thank you again to Sabrina and Richard and everyone else who submitted quizzes. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. You have 128 blueberries you picked up at the store and you want to evenly divide the blueberries between you and three of your friends. How many blueberries will each friend get? Gotta do some quick math on this one. One hundred and twenty-eight blueberries divided by three friends plus you is thirty-two blueberries each. There's four people total. 32 is the answer. That's it for today. Whichever player got closest to 32, I guess, will get the point. And if it was a tie at that point, whoever got the point wins the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you again, Sabrina and Richard. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Join us tomorrow for November 9th, which will be day number 313. See you then.